Hello YouTube, this is Justin from Slow Motion Production, and this is actually kind of a follow-up video on my Kino de Tone Easter Egg Samantha's Room video. Now on that video, it's gotten a fair amount of views and a fair amount of requests on how I did that. And by a fair amount, I mean an overloading amount. It was a lot. So I decided, why not just make a tutorial on how I did it. So, to start off, you're going to want to... It's going to be a USB mod. I'm, I'm going to US, show you how to USB mod your account for a GPD. Simple enough. Doesn't sound simple. Maybe. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does. Oh well. I'll just show you now. So, first off, you're going to want to sign into your account. Okay, now hit the guide button, go all the way over to system settings. Once you, sorry about the invites, I get a lot when I sign in. Once you go over there, go over to storage, then go to hard drive, which at the moment mine is almost empty. My USB has more memory than my actual hard drive right now. Go to my hard drive, or your hard drive, or whatever, and go to games and apps. Go down to Call of Duty Black Ops, and we're going to delete uh, Black Ops title updates. And you, This won't delete anything that will really have anything... Oh my god. I'm getting a lot of invites. This won't really delete anything you'll really notice too much. Uh, what, you're, what it's really going to do is basically just make get rid of all the updates that you have gotten. Because you're, you're, you're going to have to do this offline if you want to mod. It's still fun to do, though. Then go all the way back to here where you can see your hard drive. Highlight your hard drive and hit Y. Clear system cache. Make sure you hit clear system cache and hit yes. This is also deleting a little bit more of the updates, a little bit further. Then once you do that, you're pretty much set with that part. Just go back into your hard drive, go to your gamer profiles, and on your account, hit A on your account and hit move. Then it says, before moving a profile, you must be signed out. Are you sure you want it? Yes. You want to hit, want to hit yes. And then move your account to the memory unit, the USB. Let it move. Once it's done, no items found. Okay. That's nice. Done. That's all you have to do. Now we can actually go... Whoa, that was weird. Now we can actually go to the computer part of this. Okay, now for the computer part. So what we're going to want to do is plug in your USB that you moved your Xbox profile onto the USB drive. Once this pops up, just hit X. You won't really need that. Go into one of go into the description and download USB X Staff Explorer. You're going to need WinRAR. I'll give a link for WinRAR and all the programs I'm going to be using for this. Really all you're going to need is WinRAR, USB X Staff Explorer, Modio, and this little GPD right here. So, once you get this ready, just double tap, double click on USB X Staff Explorer, and hit File, Open Device. It should bring up in Content. Double tap, I mean double click. Hit double click, double click, and double click. Now you should get this. You won't be able to double click anymore. Click on this and hit Extract. Extract it to wherever you want. I prefer my desktop. And you will get this file. Minimize this. Make sure you don't delete this unless you want to go through all the double clicking again. And open up Modio. It's been changed. Do you want to delete this short? Yes. One second. Technical difficulties, but no problem. I'm going to want to go to Downloads. And let's do. I'll do Modio 3.0 again. Go away. Modio. Yes. And once this is open, just drag your profile, not what you do. Drag this to the right, make it bigger, then drag your profile. Or not. This is weird. Explore device. Nope. Just try to make this thing work. I'll try it this way. Okay, yeah, you're going to have to go into open a save forgot about that part. Usually you used to be able to just drag and drop, now you're not I guess. Then, once you're on your profile, make sure it's it. 
have a little gamer picture here and everything, name up here, go to file contents, and find the one that matches the, this, 41560855, 41560855, so you want to scroll down a little bit for me at least, depending on how many, <clears throat> depending on how many games you've played, 855, here it is, just right click and hit replace file, go to your desktop, and find it, right here, there you go, it's been replaced, hit rehash resign, I usually like to do it twice, once the little uh, words down there go away, hit it one more time, wait till they go away, then you can hit X and X, you're going to want to open up XTAF again, sorry about that, Windows isn't too great, it just kind of failed, but as you can see it was switched over, so let's try this again. So you're going to want to hit this and hit delete. Then you're going to want to inject the new one. Once it says done, I kind of like to go back all the way to the beginning just to be safe. Then hit X. Now, just plug in your uh, USB to your Xbox, turn it on, and we'll I'll switch over to that now. Now that we're on the Xbox, you're going to want to hit the guide button and go over to system settings. Make sure you don't sign in first, it helps usually. It doesn't really matter, but I prefer to do it this way. Go over to Storage, then go to Memory Unit, Gamer Profiles, then go to your Gamer Profile, hit Move, and move it to your hard drive. Once it gets moved, you're able to take out your, uh, your Memory Unit, your USB if you want, but I prefer not to usually. Now you're going to want to sign into your Xbox Profile. There we go, sign into mine. Let it load. There we go. Now I am signed in. Worked perfect. You can tell just by it letting me. Uh, it, you have no really worry about this, but sometimes it might. If it ever corrupts your account, you can always just delete it off your ex hard drive and then re recover it. All you need to know is your email and password, so don't worry about if it says it's corrupted. I used to get freaked out when it said that before, but. Anyways, so now just hit Play Black Ops. And it'll prompt you to update. You want to hit cancel. The can if you don't cancel the update, it will not work at all. Wait for it to come up. Disconnected. And here it goes. Prompted to update. Any moment now. There we go. Don't do don't do it. Whatever you do. Cancel. Start. Hard drive. Welcome to Black Ops. Go Why do I have to go through all this again? Oh well doesn't matter let's go through this really quick okay now just go into zombies solo and Kino der Toten for me at least you can go to whatever you want I'm just gonna go into Kino and now I'm not familiar with this GPD so I'm gonna have to learn about how to use this GPD so give me a minute to realize because every GPD is a little bit different and this is not the same one I used in the video. The one I used in the video was just a really basic one that didn't have as many options as this one. This one has way too many more, way many, oh, wow, way more options. Let's test this. How do you start, oh there we go. There's no clip which is what I was doing out here. And here's the rooms I actually visited. There's the movie clip. The little... Whoops. Well, that's, that's pretty awesome. I can see particles whenever I turn this one on. This one was not in my last one. Now, uh, nor was this one. Hmm. This is really weird. You have to hit the back button to turn this on. The B button does this. Let's see, the LB button does this, which is cartoon mode. RB. Whoa. Uh, slow motion. Left on the D pad. Uh, Zeus cannon and ray gun. Oh, this brings back times. Whoop. There's also some more rooms out here, like the dentist's office. Uh, let's see, there should be, down here, there should be the, uh, projector room. 
over here somewhere there should be the teleporters oh they're back here when you go through the teleporter it actually brings you to each of these boxes and I'm gonna test out these mods a little bit more if you wanna keep watching right on the d-pad third person apparently down on the d-pad pack-a-punch room apparently or keep hitting down on the d-pad I keep teleporting that's pretty cool. Up on the D-pad, God Mode. That's one thing you really want to turn on is God Mode when you're, whenever you're modding. Put this on. Just gonna hit left on the D-pad again. Whoa, this is weird. Left on the D-pad is a little bit different now. It's changing my point of view. I kinda like this view. Different. This one's really different. Eh, I prefer the original though. Okay, so that's basically how you mod like I did in the video. Thank you for watching, and have a good time modding. Goodbye.